I'm Curtis Horn, I'm 54 years old. I am a social studies teacher in Currituck County Schools. Uh, this will be my 23rd year teaching. Uh, my wife is Donna Horn. Uh, we've been married since 1999. For me, it was my second marriage. Um, just knew we couldn't we couldn't keep doing it the way we were doing it. Um, there was no big, huge stumbling blocks, just baggage. I, I just knew I didn't want to keep going about the same thing. I was seeking after God, but didn't really know what to do. And I just knew there was something different about her, and I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to mess this one up. So we came together under Christ to try to figure out how to do this marriage thing. And then I had accepted Christ in my life, like I said earlier, but it didn't take. And we broke up. And that same night, I asked for forgiveness from her. It was all in that same night. Um, and God literally healed our marriage in that moment. I just knew that I didn't want to keep going the way I was, drop the first wife and hope the next one is better, drop this woman and hope the next one is better. Um, fast forward to 2020, after COVID, Donna got cancer and um, she didn't have insurance. So we were doing the best we can to honor you know, our bills. And so it, it, it put a strain. Um, cancer is not a joke. So flash forward, we're Donna's in recovery. Uh, things are going, you know, fairly good. And the truck's transmission starts slipping. One of the guys at the church um, lent, us, lent us his truck for a month. No strings, just whenever you get it back, it's fine. Um, two of the guys in church drove us back and forth to drop off my vehicle, pick it up, drop it off, pick it up. Um, just people giving up their time. We had experienced the generosity of others uh, when Donna had cancer. Um, one of my coworkers who had retired, his son, who I'd met a few times, he sent money. He did that out of his heart. I'm hoping that Donna's story uh, touched him in a way that he looked towards God um, instead of just doing it. We get an estimate on how much it's gonna cost, and it's, going to be an amount that we're wondering where we're going to get. We had decided not to, you know, not to get a new car. Um, thought about another used car, but I'm like, we already have a used car and the used car problems. Why would we want to, you know, why would we want to do another one? So um, we had said something to the church and I'm sitting there getting ready for school one morning and Donna's standing behind me taking care of the bills, opening the little envelopes up, and I, I hear her crying behind me. And I'm like, it's the husband thing. You don't ask what, you just you just get up and you just put your arms around your, your wife. And as I'm holding her, I look down and in an envelope is a thousand dollars in cash. And it was it was sent from somebody in the church, just anonymously. That's the kind of God we serve. If you don't know Jesus, that's the kind of God we serve. And he will, he will provide if you are faithful. I'm gonna throw out a, a common catchphrase people are saying nowadays. We don't know what we don't know. Our God is able to do things we have no clue what were even possible. If we would just relent and let him be that, that guiding star. One thing I'm excited about with this church and this congregation is the love that you see that these people have for each other. Um, it's not a walk in, sit at the back of the room, and slip back out church. Um, the strides that this church goes through to try to reach the unreached, to, to touch those folks that um, don't know Christ yet. And if it doesn't work, they pivot and go to something else. And they're always trying to figure out a way to help people form that lasting relationship, that lifelong relationship with God. Um, that's one of the things I love, I really do. We're, we're always trying to figure out something new to try to reach people.